Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to discuss what diatomic molecules are, which elements form diatomic molecules in standard state, and an acronym to help remember them. Let's start by defining the term molecule. A molecule is a group of two or more covalently bonded atoms. A molecule made up of two atoms is called a diatomic molecule. These two molecules can be the same or different elements. For example, carbon monoxide is a diatomic molecule because it is made up of two covalently bonded atoms, carbon and oxygen. Another term we'll be using in this video is standard state. Standard state is the most stable form of a substance under certain conditions. Elements are at standard state at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. Some elements exist as diatomic molecules in standard state. These elements are hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. These elements do not exist as single atoms in their standard state because they're too unstable. Instead, they form diatomic molecules with themselves. For example, the oxygen in the air that we breathe is naturally a diatomic molecule. So, there are two oxygens held together by a double covalent bond. The elements that form diatomic molecules in their standard state don't have to be paired when they're in compounds. For example, in water, or H2O, there's only one oxygen. This is okay because it is stabilized by its bonds to the hydrogens. However, a single oxygen atom cannot be by itself in standard state. It will pair up with another oxygen atom to form a diatomic molecule. So, this oxygen atom will become an oxygen molecule. Knowing which elements form diatomic molecules in standard state is helpful when solving problems like the following. Hydrogen and oxygen in their standard states react to form water. Write out the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Using the list on the left, we know that hydrogen and oxygen are diatomic gases in their standard state. So, on the reactant side of the equation, we can write H2 and O2. We can also write a G in parentheses beside each of these elements to show that it is a gas. On the product side, we're going to have water, or H2O, which is a liquid. Now we need to balance the equation. We can do that by putting a 2 in front of the hydrogen and a 2 in front of the water. This gives us 2H2 plus O2 yields 2H2O, which is our answer. One way you can remember which elements form diatomic molecules in their standard state is by using the acronym Honkelfiber. This acronym combines the abbreviations for the name of each of the elements listed here. If you're still confused or need help on another problem, be sure to leave a comment or visit our other study hub resources. Thanks for watching.